everybody happy new year welcome to 2020 and welcome to fumi's red carpet fashion police golden globes 2020 are we ready or are we ready <laughs> How was your new year? Well, you know what? Before I start, welcome to FTV Studios. We're in a new house. We're in a new studio. I've got space and I am here to give you all the content I can for 2020. I'm sure some of you will be wondering what am I wearing? I am wearing Jampatistia Valley in collaboration with H&M. Yes, darlings, I snatched a couple of pieces and I'll be showing you that collection in another episode. So the Golden Globes were on Sunday. So we're just going to roll it out the way I saw all of these celebrities on the red carpet. First up, Beyonce. Beyonce, my darling, was in Chaparali, looking gorgeous. It was beautiful gold, two exaggerated shoulders with a deep cut V, looking fabulous. And the rest of it was black underneath the bus, just to show off her silhouette. Loved it. I loved the blonde. I loved the gorgeousness of it. She just looked like an award. She looked like a trophy. She was looking flawless and fabulous. Then we had Gwyneth Paltrow in Fendi. I, body is beautiful, body gorgeous, the color was meh, the color, I would have loved this in a rose pink, I would have loved this in a blush, because it was chiffon, it was flouncy, it was sheer, this contour brown did not do her any justice i feel like she was showing off her body look at me and i thought to myself not bad she got a great body she's in her 40s what 44 45 46 something like that but this this did not work for me it didn't give me life and the dress was nice but the color was off like she farted and it just <laughs> And it discolored the whole dress. That's what it looked like. Then we had our beautiful Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington was in Aluzara. I don't know. I don't know. It felt very dominatrixy. It felt as if she was here to whip somebody. I loved the open jacket. Don't get me wrong. That was sexy. It was the rope in between. Let me just take a closer look at this. It was the rope in between with the two knots that I just did not understand. This was not necessary. It came off rather aggressive with the blunt black bob, the red lip. Do you see the dominatrix? I didn't get it. I would have preferred if she closed it up with a diamante safety pin or a button just at the bust or underneath the bust to show the decollage. Everything glossed up and glowy. That would have been more appropriate for the golden globes, I felt. Other than that, gorgeous. Jacket, beautiful, long length, everything. But the rope wasn't giving me life. Then we had Kate Blanchett and she was in, in Mary Catranzo. I loved it. It was beautiful. The color was gorgeous. It was flouncy and the bodice was exquisite. It was sexy at the same time. It was so very, very elegant. She got it right. I would have preferred if she scraped her hair back. I felt like the Elvis hairstyle wasn't quite right. Has she pulled her hair back and let the dress do all of the talking, then for me it would have been a hundred percent all the way through. Having said that, I loved it. I loved the makeup. It was very subtle. I loved the pink lip. This worked for me. She looked beautiful. My beautiful, beautiful Queen Elizabeth because she played that part like, and this was life. Jennifer Aniston in Christian Dior. She always wears black. Her black is her go-to. The dress was eh. There was nothing extraordinary about it. It was eh. The hair eh. The diamonds eh. She was just eh. 
I don't know what's happening with these Golden Globes. I'm telling you. I'm so excited. Ooh, Billy Porter. Billy Porter came in in Alex Vinage. I loved the drama. I loved the extra. I loved the white, the peacock feathers. I loved it. I was in Bel Air when I was in LA. My George took me to Bel Air and they have these beautiful two swans that are at the end of the pond. Billy Porter. Billy Porter owned the red carpet. I loved the extra drama of it. I loved the fact that he took a tuxedo and just added the feathers at the bottom. Gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful white. I loved the sheen on the trouser to give it that extra. Billy Porter was the one for for me, Zoe Dutch in Fendi, custard yellow, beautiful. I love the blue diamonds. I love the urban red hair flipped back and let the dress do all of the talking. I thought she was one of the best dressed that night. The color was beautiful and the silhouette suited her perfectly. Jennifer Lopez in Valentino. Let's kick back for a hot minute. Jennifer Lopez was nominated for the first time in 22 years for the movie Hustlers. And she came down the red carpet in this Valentino dress. Now, let me just give a little backstory or my understanding to this dress so that you guys can have an idea of perhaps why she chose this dress. You are nominated. Nominated is very different from you presenting, from you coming with your cast. You are going to be on that big, beautiful stage if you do win and you are going to present your speech. So you want to fill up that stage as much as possible with this beautiful, sensational dress. Jennifer Lopez, as we all know her, she's sexy. She's hot. She's glamorous. And I felt that this dress, with the understanding, I, you know, I'm an actor, I get this, I get the awards. With all of that, still, this dress was a huge disappointing surprise for me. I thought she was going to come with something else. And I want to throw it out there because this, I feel, is still her year. Like I said, she's been nominated. She's been nominated for other awards as well. So there's buzz around LA that could this be her year? I think it would be. And because of that, they are overthinking. Her hairstylist, her hair, makeup people, they are overthinking it a tad. Because you know what? The glitz would have worked on stage. Translation, she could have also come out there looking glowy, like a chandelier. And I just felt that this outfit right here, it hid Jennifer Lopez. I don't know why she wore this green bow. It just, it was a no, 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 no. And I love Jennifer. The hair was too extreme. I know that she was looking for that, you know, uh, cherry on the cake. And you know, I tell you this, if she had worn the dress in Made in Manhattan, I'll put a picture up. Had she worn that, I'd have said, okay, yes. Give me sexy, give me glam, give me Jennifer. I didn't see Jennifer in this dress at all. And then when it was the after party, she went to her true self with Zuhair Morad. And I said, ah, ah, ha, ha, this is the Jennifer I know. And I understand that again, she was being nominated. Having said that, this Zuhair Morad would not have worked on the red carpet. It would not have worked with her being nominated. She had to be a little bit more demure, so to speak. Having said that, I think they overthought it a little too much with the Valentino. It didn't work. And she was the one that I was looking for on the red carpet. Makeup flawless. Hair, mm -hmm. dress, absolutely not. And I'm hoping that they just, you know, fall back a little, her, 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 her team, and say, you know what? It's not that serious. Let's still have fun with this and let us bring our true Jennifer Lopez for all of her fans. Because I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan. But this dress did not work for her. Michelle Williams in custom Louis Vuitton. I loved it. Peach with a little bit of sky blue. It was so beautiful. It just reminded me of spring. I thought to myself, girl, you're looking gorgeous. The face was a little too 
too serious. The hair again was a little too very, very 20s. I would have loved a little bit more personality, a little bit more makeup, a little bit more of a pink lip. Other than that, she looked fabulous. I love Priyanka Chopra. She was in Christina Ottaviano, beautiful pink beautiful pink accentuated her bust her waist her hips i love the red lip gorgeous she looked absolutely beautiful then of course we had salma hayek in gucci she's got a bust yes don't you love a good bust and she accentuated that with a little clip right underneath the bust showed off her waist in blue and you had the white skirt underneath it was all one piece but it was more of a color block with her beautiful hair cascading down beautiful sky blue earrings everything on her looked gorgeous but she presented her bust line beautifully another lady wearing blue was Renee Zellweger and she was wearing Armani simple gorgeous the detail was flawless and she had the shoes to match I thought she looked gorgeous again ah I didn't care for the hair too much I would have loved it if she combed the hair back I loved the bouffant I just didn't like the little tassels by the eyes show off your face you're aging gracefully you look gorgeous Charlize Theron in custom Christian Dior in this lime green and black detail the corset was black and it was this Grecian green all on one side loved it i loved it i thought it was beautiful the color popped on the red carpet and it had a kind of cape in the back and i said to myself this is beautiful remember she's very tall so she had this very statuesque vibe on the red carpet beautiful hair she was nominated as well i think she looks gorgeous and those were the girls, my darlings, that I loved and liked. There was nobody that I disliked, per se. There were just a lot of people that didn't quite get it all together. But my favorite, my best dressed of them all was my beautiful Beyonce in Cipriani. It was simple. It was elegant. It was well executed to the point. She looked absolutely fabulous. Golden, golden globes. So that is it, my darlings. But I am here for the entire award season. I am so excited to be back. Last year, I had just had Adrian. So I missed the entire season. But this is it, darlings. I will be here. I am going to be back with a vengeance. We are coming with my favorite beauty products of 2019. We're coming with Sister to Sister whole bulwark so i hope you enjoyed it my darlings before you leave don't forget to hit the like button to subscribe leave all of your comments below who were your favorites let me know all right guys and i will see you soon don't forget the academy awards is in february i think february 8th i'm not so sure but i'll see you then all my love Ooh, let's say goodbye goodbye, goodbye.